Now that's Bren sat down there at Diana's having a drink. He has just ordered us a Chinese from that Chinese restaurant next door. It's actually a little bit creepy that I'm watching him. <laughs> this is the leftover boxes from our pizza takeaway last night. Right, we've been in Malta for two nights now and both nights we've got a takeaway. I think we're maybe just a bit tired from the flight and also being out in the sun all day is just knackering. So Bren's gone down to order the Chinese for us, which is so nice to be able to let him do. Like, in the past I'd have been terrified handing over that control. Now I'm just like, why? Like, it's not like he's bringing back anthrax. That's my first time on the brakes then. Watching. We've been out all day today on an island called Gozo and we hired this like mini electric jeep. Go and tell Hannah to do it, she does her favourite film. It's just so cool and we had this guy called Jeffrey in with us. Yeah, I mean the engine's only here, it's mid engine. Yeah, yeah. And the gearbox is here, so but oh. And he was kind of like taking us all around to the beautiful spots like little lagoons and bays and like cliff tops, just such beautiful views. I didn't really look at the time all day and in the past I'd have been like but when are we gonna have lunch when am I gonna have a snack what time are we doing this what time will we get to that beach like just so annoying for everybody not just me poor Bren having to micromanage his holiday so that I knew what time I was eating and what time I was doing everything and then we stopped for an ice cream at one of the beaches and then when we ne went to the next beach like five minutes later they had these like frappuccino frappuccino cappuccino I guess it's called <laughs> like a frappe cappuccino comparing it to a previous holiday or like holidays in the past is so much better and it's so much nicer like for me and for Bren Chicken cashew, beef with veg, and I'm assuming rice. Lush. Thanks, darling. Mm. Right, it's about 8 a.m. I have just come down to the sea before I start working. There's actually loads of people swimming, which looks so nice. So I think I might come and do that tomorrow before work. Um, Bren's actually gone for a little run. I hate running, honestly. And I feel like when I was ill, I like put myself through so much shit that I hated and didn't want to do. And now I'm just like, I'm done with that. Like, why would I wake up and go for a run, which I'm gonna dread and hate every minute of, when I could just come down and be by the sea, which I love. So I got up, had breakfast, came down here, he has got up, gone for a run. He'll probably have breakfast when he gets home, but it doesn't matter. Like we've got different bodies. We're on different paths in life. We've got different preferences, different needs. Like it doesn't matter if he does more or eats less or anything, like different bodies, different paths. So Bren's just gone for a run. I had this great idea that I was gonna go for a swim every single morning, and then I've developed this absolute stinker of a cold. So that is that one out the window. I'm just sat here working instead. And maybe I'll like go up to the pool in a bit if I'm feeling a bit better, but uh, yeah, great holiday. <laughs> the good news is it's not COVID. I've tested negative twice, twice. So maybe I could show you the apartment where we're staying. Actually, I'll use the GoPro for this. Okay. So this is the lounge and kitchen area. A little bathroom. And then another little bathroom. We're actually staying in a three bed apartment between the two of us. So we have one room for all of our mess. And our bedroom and then another room, which isn't being used. This is the quilt that I'm using for working with so I can get all like snuggled up on the couch. So originally we'd actually booked to stay in a hotel, but the sneaky little bastards canceled our booking because they worked out loads of people were going to Malta, so they could have charged a lot more for it. So they basically canceled our stay and then put it back online for double the price. So then we had to book somewhere else and we ended up in this massive apartment between the two of us. So it's quite nice because it means like, I can have my own little workstation and Bren can have space to do his bits and bobs. <coughs> Exercise was never really part of my ink disorder behaviours, but I imagine 
if it is for you, then being on holiday and being out of your routine could be really difficult. And especially if you normally do stuff on your own and now you're on holiday with other people and it's like they can see everything that you're doing. Yeah, it can be hard to be out of your routine, but honestly, you do not need to be in your routine. Like you're on holiday, it's a break from your normal routine. Holidays are supposed to be like fun and relaxing and chilled out, not like routine and rigid and controlled and grueling. Like you don't need to be forcing yourself to do shit when you're on holiday. You don't need to be doing it anytime, but like definitely not on holiday. But if you eat more than normal, you do less than normal, you're not in your normal routine, you don't have control that you normally have, like you're gonna be fine. But that's not to say that taking a break from your regular routine will necessarily be fun, like especially not on the first couple of holidays when you do it. But you can ask yourself things like, how do I want to look back on this holiday? Like how do I want to remember it? Do I want to be like joining in and connected with other people or do I want to be focused on planning my food and my exercise. I think it's so important to remember you're not necessarily doing recovery actions because they feel good right now. You're doing them because ultimately this is what you want to be able to do. I think it can help to ask like, does this behavior align to my future goals and to my values? Like even if it's not comfortable on this particular holiday, do it for your future self and for future holidays. And I've had loads of holiday experiences in the last few years where I've not been that comfortable or necessarily like really enjoying myself because I was like challenging things and doing stuff that was outside my comfort zone and my routine and my control. But I'm so grateful now for past me having done that because it means that now I can enjoy myself and be a lot more relaxed and chilled and spontaneous and flexible and adaptable and like fit in with other people rather than everybody else running their holiday around me. I'm in a little nest bed on the sofa. I'm still not feeling brilliant. I've just tested negative for COVID for the third time, which is good. But yeah, I'm just still quite bunged up. So we've had such a nice day today. We went and found this place called Coral Lagoon. We hired our own car, which was so cool. You like pick it up through this app, except we didn't have Wi-Fi or 3G anywhere and you need that to be able to unlock your car. So we kept getting to the car and being like, oh my God, we can't unlock it. We don't have Wi-Fi. But anyway, we hired this car, drove to this bay and then you like climb up the side of this hill and you're just like looking for this lagoon, which is like a hole basically in the earth. And then you kind of come over this dip of the hill and you see it and it is so cool. Oh my God, wow. It's got like this turquoise crystal clear water. Apparently you can jump off it, but it did not look deep enough to us <laughs> to do that. So we're like, we'll just stand and look at it. Also, I wouldn't have jumped off it anyway. I'm so scared to do that kind of thing. Brent thought he might've done. He was like in his swimmers, but in the end he just like walked around it. And I think <laughs> that was him. And then we went to get lunch in this really gorgeous place, like right on the water. Luckily they had space. We've been really rubbish about planning anything and making reservations. So it's like the only place around as well. So thank God I can eat stuff straight from the menu now and don't freak out about restaurants abroad because I don't know why we would have done. And we decided to share like a meat loaded pizza or something and a chicken Caesar salad. And then this cute little stray cat came and sat with us whilst we had our lunch. It was gorgeous, it was such a nice morning and just so nice to be able to like go to restaurants knowing that I'll be able to eat whatever's there. And we did want to go kayaking after lunch, like I wanted to kayak into the lagoon, there's like a cave in the sea so you can actually kayak in, but I just felt so shit and Bren was quite tired too so I've come home to my nest. <laughs> it's a bit annoying honestly, like we're on holiday and I really want to be exploring but what are you going to do? I'm sick. And then tonight we're gonna get a takeaway for dinner, which is also quite annoying because there's gorgeous restaurants here, like all out on the sea. You can sit on the beach and watch sunset, but I just know if I'm not feeling very well and yeah, it's not gonna be that nice, so. And it's also actually meant I haven't really had anything local to eat whilst we've been here. Like I've not tried anything because we've had takeaways quite a lot. Like normally I would like to do that, but I'm trying to just like look after myself as well and like rest and what have you and get better. Like I really wanna be well in time for the wedding next week, my brother's wedding. So, all right, and now I'm gonna watch some Netflix, eat some crisps, drink some orange juice <laughs> and try and get rested and better.
right, we've just got home from a day out. I am having an iced tea, which I picked up whilst we were out, and yay for being able to drink non-diet drinks. And I'm a bit hungry, so I'm having some like cheese and crackers. Hmm. I didn't bring a plate. <laughs> oh. oh, they're all broken. Oh well. She's not so bad. I didn't plan this very well. Whatever, we're fine. <laughs> I'm feeling a lot better today. Uh, oh, it's like, where's the rest of the cheese? It's in my plate. <laughs> I'll just eat these for now. I'm doing a video. Oh, <laughs> Want some cheese and cracker? No, I'm gonna get a meat. got them. And off I go. So I've just had my third negative COVID test, which is great news. So this, whatever this is, is not COVID. So we were out this morning and this afternoon actually. Oh, it's five to five. Okay, it's later than I thought it was. We're going out for dinner tonight. It's actually our anniversary, our three year wedding anniversary tomorrow. So we're going out for dinner tonight because we're waking up early to fly the next day. Too much information. <laughs> but yeah, I think we're booked in for like 7.30, so I'll be too hungry if I wait till then anyway. So we went to a place called St. Peter's Pool today, and we went cliff jumping. Well, I say we. <laughs> I didn't. I'm too much for a wuss, but Bren did. I'm not jumping off that. <laughs> oh shit, my pants. There's actually one guy who was jumping in who was amazing. He was doing like backflips. Ah. My friend was a bit jealous. <laughs> okay, sure, I'll pass it. Friend's actually got gout in his toe, so he's got like an inflamed joint, which is really sore. So he just like sunbathed after he did his jumping in, and I like walked around the corner of the rocks for a little explore, and it was absolutely beautiful. Like a really big cliff face, and then these random boulders just sticking out right next to the sea. Like, oh, it was just so nice. I just love being around nature so much. And then. We left St. Peter's Bay and went just down the road to a place called Il Kalanka, which actually, these are all recommendations from people on Instagram, so thanks so much. Like, these places were beautiful. But we didn't stay there very long. We were getting hungry, so we just left and got lunch. Are you limping? Hello. And I actually managed to try something local. The waiter recommended this like local bread thing to us. I'm going to try the uh, ham and cheese fatita. Yeah. I'll have the same thing. Which actually was basically just a ham and cheese sandwich, but it was really nice. And the view from the restaurant was gorgeous. We like sat looking out over all these boats. It was like a little fishing village. And when the sandwich came, it actually had like quite thick butter in it. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my God, I'm so glad. This isn't me like three years ago sat here because I would have freaked out. And I remember that feeling so well when just like dread fills your body when food comes and it's not as you expected it to be or it's not like how you'd want it or safe enough. And I would have just been like, what do I do? Because I wouldn't have wanted to like waste money on the meal, but I wouldn't have wanted to eat all the butter. And I wouldn't have wanted to like ruin Bren's lunch, but equally I would have done with the whole bloody, what's that word? Palava. <laughs> So today I just ate it exactly as it was, because I'm just like, it's just food, it's just a bit of butter. Like I could eat a spoonful of butter and I'd be freaking fine at the end of it. And I don't ever want to go back to those days of like freaking out when my food comes, opening up sandwiches and dissecting them and like scraping stuff out or using napkins or like, ugh. And you know, having like everyone else on eggshells, like is Meg's food gonna be okay? Is this lunch gonna be okay? Is she gonna be okay? Can she eat here? Do we need to go somewhere else? Yeah, I just don't want to be that person on holiday. Like for everybody else, for me, for the whole experience. Like, yeah, you know, it wasn't fun. So yeah, just ate it as it came. Oh, and obviously now like, oh shit. Nope. <laughs> I don't now need to like restrict or not go out for dinner tonight or anything. Like, it's just food, I'm gonna be fine. Much better to be like joining in, being present, enjoying ourselves. Right, 
Okay, it's our last day today. I'm just working and Bren's gone up to the pool. At the beginning of the week, I was so desperate to go for a swim every morning, but then I got ill and instead I've pretty much just been lying on the sofa and working. I did manage to go in the sea at St. Peter's Pool. Just had like a little poodle about and it was so nice. In the past, I was just too cold to get in the sea, but then if others wanted to go in, I would feel like I had to. It didn't matter if I like didn't want to, if I was too cold, if I wasn't well, like if other people did it, I'd be like, oh, now I have to do it. I would have just forced myself anyway and hated every single minute of it, which actually just sounds like my life with an eating disorder all over. Like, I think from my recovery and also a lot from Bren, He's kind of taught me to like respect my body a lot more and to listen to it and like not push it. Like if I'm cold or tired, don't go in the sea. <laughs> don't force yourself to do stuff like lie on the sofa and rest. Like, I don't have to do anything and I certainly don't have to do it because other people do it. Like my body doesn't even know what other people are doing. It's not modulating its weight based on what other people do or what other people eat, you know, different bodies, different paths. And like when we were out at St. Peter's, Bren had gout. So he wasn't forcing himself to come and look at the rocks with me because it was painful for him to walk. So he respected his body and he rested it as he needed to. I feel like we totally lose touch of that with an eating disorder. And everything's about like what you have to do. Respect your body. It'll be a lot nicer to you in return. Right, given that we leave tomorrow, there is an awful lot of food left in the cupboard still. And the fridge, actually. Gonna have a lot of snacks for the plane. <laughs> I just asked Bren what he wanted to do for dinner and he was like, we don't need to eat up all the leftovers, which really made me cringe a little bit because that is what I would have done in the past. Like when I was starved and restricted, I just couldn't leave food. So he'd be coming in for like a bit of milka and I'd be like, mm, you want some mushroom soup with that? <laughs> A yogurt? A bit of Philadelphia? <laughs> So we'll probably just go out for dinner somewhere instead. Somewhere down by the sea. Make the most of the sea for our last night. The food here is actually really British, like Marmite, Heinz soup, Maltesers. That's definitely something else that was difficult in the past was not having my like regular foods, my safe foods. And so I'd end up packing a shit ton of food in my suitcase. Like literally going on holiday with like sweeteners, chewing gum, pots of peanut butter and cereal bars, like just so that I knew I could get the brand that I like. I would honestly prioritize those things like above my clothes. Sometimes at the beginning of your recovery, it can actually be quite important to know that you've got some things like your own cereal bars or something. Also, the stuff here is not that fresh, like the fruits and vegetables. We were given this fruit bowl when we first arrived and we've not touched it that much, to be honest. I've had like a couple of oranges. And I tried to like order a salad on the side with like a lunch or whatever, and we've had orange juice, but other than that, I've barely touched fruit and veg the whole time we've been here. And it's freaking fine, like you'll survive a week of not eating as like fresh as you might, might normally, or not having your normal anything, like it'll be fine. And unless it's for like a serious medical need, like your body will cope. <laughs> Do the splits. Oh man. How long for? <laughs> Right. Oh. <laughs> okay. That was a bit low. Sit in Bren's suitcase. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. We just got back from dinner, and now I need to pack. We went to a lovely little restaurant tonight, right by the sea. And this is gonna be the last bit of this video because it is far too long, but restaurant eating on holiday, oh my God, used to be so difficult for me. We would honestly end up going from like restaurant to restaurant to restaurant with me just scouring the menu, like desperately looking for something that like I felt okay eating. And sometimes we'd even like have to leave places because I'd be like, there's nothing I can have here. <sighs> Whereas now it's so much better. Like we just go to places. We can go to the first place we find. I don't need to have read the menu before. I can wait till we sit down. I just know that I'll be fine. Like I can eat anything on that menu. And it means I don't have that like sheer panic in me of like, oh my God, how are they gonna cook things? How's it gonna be served? What if there's butter on my veg? What if they put dressing on my salad? What if they fry something that I wasn't expecting to be fried? Ugh. And then the meal would come out. And if it was like not as I was expecting it to be, that would be like a total 
disaster to the point where like the meals could end up being the most memorable the most memorable part of the whole trip which is definitely not who I wanted to be like how I wanted to be on holiday it's not the trip I wanted for other people like it really wasn't pleasant and I think now it's so much better because I don't have like calorie limits or targets or any kind of like rules over my day of what I'm allowed to eat like I can eat anything I can have wraps sandwiches burgers pasta salad dressing things cooked in all different ways like it doesn't matter i've done it enough at home like we've eaten out enough at home i've challenged this stuff and i've done it on holidays in the past so even though it might not have been like the easiest thing for me to have done a few holidays ago it means that now i can do this stuff with no problem so again i'm like so grateful to my past self for having like gone through the stress so that now I don't have to. But now I need to pack my stuff. We are up early tomorrow morning, so I really have to do it now. <laughs> and if you do go on holiday, I hope you can live it in the way that you want to live a holiday, even if that's not like the most comfortable thing at the time. But I'm sure when you look back on it, you'll prefer that to remembering like, oh my God, I controlled all my food and my time and everybody's food around me. But anyway, lots of love.